Hey grade nines and welcome and in this video we'll be looking at examination questions on cells. We've done a video on cells and if you've gone through that video this one is uh, specifically focused on examination questions on cells. So let's look at the first question that we can find on cells. So this is question number eight from the 2014 uh, grade nine science final paper one. And the question says, the diagram below shows part of a cell, shows a plant cell and its various parts. Which of the labeled parts A, B, C, or D contain a substance that helps plants to make their own food? So let's just try to name the parts of the plants that you can see, the plant cells. So we've got part A, which is that one there. We've got part B, which is that one there. We've got part D, that one, and part C, that one. So what is part C? If it's a plant cell, this part C is known as the vacuole. Remember vacuole? So this is the vacuole. Part A is the nucleus. Part B is the cytoplasm. And part D is a, come on grade nice, is a, cell membrane okay so now the question is specifically asking for uh, the part that contains a substance that helps plants to make their own food so in talk of a substance that helps plants to make their own food we're talking about the chloroplast and now where is the chloroplast found is a chloroplast found in the vacuole? Is it found in the cell membrane? Is it found in the nucleus? Or is it found in the cytoplasm? So it's chlor the chloroplast is found in the cytoplasm, which is B. So therefore, the correct answer for that question is B. We are still in the 2014 um, grade 9 paper 1. And question 10 was also on cells. And it says, which three structures do plant and animal cells have in common? which three structures do plant and animal cells have in common? We've got A, cell wall, cell membrane, and cell nucleus. B, nucleus, membrane, and cytoplasm. C, cytoplasm, cellulose, and cell membrane. D, cell membrane, vacuole, and nucleus. So key points to remember is the three um, structures that are common in both animal and plant cells are the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. The cell wall is restricted to only plant cells. The vacuole is restricted to only plant cells. Uh, the cellulose is found in the plant cells as well. So the three structures common in both animal and plant cells are cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. And according to our answers, that is option B. So the correct answer for number 10 is B, nucleus, cell membrane, and the cytoplasm. This question is from the 2020 uh, grade 9 integrated science specimen paper. And this is question 5. It says the diagram below shows an animal cell. Identify the part labeled N. So let's just identify all the labeled parts. So for this animal cell, we've got part L, we've got part M, and we've got part N. So animal cells are very basic, nothing complicated about them. So part L is known as the, come on, yes, the cell membrane. Part B, part M is known as the nucleus. And part N is known as the cytoplasm. So I believe we've answered the question just by labeling um, all the parts uh, that we've been given. So identify part N. Where is part N? Part N is a cytoplasm. So therefore, the correct answer is C, cytoplasm. So this next question is from the 2020 specimen. And this is from paper 2, integrated science paper 2. And this is question number 2. And it says... It's on the topic of plants and animals. It says, study the diagram of a cell as seen under a light microscope. And we've got that cell. And 
got part J, part K, part L, part M, part N, part O. And the first question says, identify the type of, the, of cell shown in the diagram. So what type of cell is this? And how do we know? So we said the difference between animal cells and plant cells is that animal cells, or rather plant cells, have um, standard shape. Or yeah, let's call it standard. They've got a defined shape. Well, animal cells can be of any undefined shape. So that's one of the differences. We also said plant cells have the vacuole present, they have the chloroplast present, and they have the cell wall present. Well, animal cells do not have the vacuole, do not have the chloroplast, do not have the cell wall. Then from that, I believe we can be able to identify what type of cell this is. So when you look at the cell structure here, we have this part, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, and we've got that and that. So we can identify this to be a vacuole and animal cells do not have a vacuole. So this is hinting to uh, this cell being a plant cell. We can also identify these small round structures and these are the chloroplast. And if we can identify this to be chloroplast, it means it is definitely a plant cell because animal cells do not have chloroplast. Then apart from that, we look at the shape of this cell. This is um, a polygon of some sort. It is a pentagon actually. And so if it has this standard, uh, standard defined shape, it means it's a plant cell because animal cells do not have a shape that is defined. So from all these clues, we can identify and we can conclude that this type of cell that is shown in the diagram is therefore a plant cell. So it's a plant cell. And we get one mark for that. Maybe let me write plant cell in a different color so that we'll be able to, to So let me write plant cell in red. So identify the type of cell shown in the diagram. We've said it's a, it's a plant cell. Then B, which labeled features on the cell in the diagram enabled you to identify the cell in A above? Which labeled features on the cell in the diagram enabled you to identify the cell in A above? So what has, helped us, what has helped us to identify this cell is firstly the presence of a vacuole, which is K, and also, or rather J, yeah, J. Then also we've got the chloroplast, which is um, labeled by, that should be O. So the vacuole and the chloroplast have helped us identify the type of cell that, the type of cell that this is, and these are labeled by J and O. So which labeled features on the cell in the diagram? So we can say J and O. And we can name them if we please. So you can say the vacuole and the chloroplast. The vacuole and the chloroplast. Then question number, question C rather says state two features of the cell labeled in the diagram that are found in both animal and plant cells. State two features on the cell labeled in the diagram above that are found in both animal and plant, cell, plant cells. So what is found in both an animal and plant cell? We've got the cell membrane, we've got the vacuum, we've got the nucleus, and we've got the, we've got the cytoplasm. So you can pick on any of these three and put them as your answer. So Two features that are found in both animal and plant cells can be the nucleus, the vacuole, the, I don't know, I think of, I keep on thinking of the vacuole, but uh, I mean to say the nucleus, the cytoplasm, and also the, and also the cell membrane. So you can pick on any of these three, 
any of these three and put them there as your answer. Then the next question says, which two letters represent the substance which make up the cytoplasm? Which two letters represent the substance which make up the protoplasm? Sorry, I said cytoplasm. I meant protoplasm. So which two letters represent the substance which make up the protoplasm? So in talk of protoplasm, we're simply talking of the living part of the cell. And this is comprised of the nucleus and the cytoplasm. Okay? The nucleus and the cytoplasm. So which one, which uh, letter is representing the nucleus? Well, the nucleus is there. And we've got no letter representing the nucleus. But the cytoplasm is represented by the letter K. So we've got K. So cytoplasm refers to the living part of the of the of the of the cell. So it's composed composed of the cytoplasm, the nucleus, and also the cell membrane. So which one is representing the cell membrane? Cell membrane is represented by letter L. So we can say K and and L. And we are done with this question. Let's go to the next question on cells. Let's see if we can look for and find. A different question on cells and here's the last question that we're looking at um, on cells and this question says it's question number four it says plants and animals the diagrams below show plant and animal cells of living organisms which part is we've got that plant cell on the left the animal cell on the right we've got a b c d e we've got f g h and let's identify these parts we've got a cytoplasm b the nucleus c vacuole d cell membrane e cell wall and on the animal cell we've got f cell membrane nucleus and the cytoplasm which labeled part is selectively permeable on the plant cell on the animal cell so which labeled part so on the plant cell in fact before we look at the labeling which part is selectively permeable in cells. And by selectively permeable, we mean cannot allow everything to go through, but it selects what goes through and what does not go through and what goes in and what does not go in the cell. So which part is uh, equipped for that role, is equipped for that purpose? And that part is the cell membrane. The cell membrane is selectively permeable and is in charge of allowing certain things into the cell and certain things not uh, being allowed to make their way into the cell. So which labeled part is selectively permeable on the plant cell and on the animal cell? So which part on the plant cell is the cell membrane? Is it D? Is it E? Well, the cell membrane is inside and the cell wall is outside. So D is the cell membrane in the plant cell. And which one is the cell membrane on the animal cell? Well, this is easy. It's F. So we've got F as a cell membrane. Then B, identify the structure F and explain its function. Identify the structure F and explain its function. So this question is related to that question. And this structure F is a cell membrane. Cell membrane. What is the function? To regulate what goes into the cell. Regulate what goes in. Okay. Run out of space there. Regulate what goes in. So you can write it in different ways, but as long as you 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 make the point clear that this is in charge of what goes in and what goes out the cell and does not allow everything to go in, does not allow everything to go out. That is what is important. So I, um, structure F is a cell membrane and it regulates what goes in and what goes out of the cell. Then question, um, question C, from the diagram, state one difference between a plant cell and an animal cell. From the diagram, state one difference between a plant cell and an animal cell. So there are many, many differences between the plant cell and the animal cell. So one of the one of the differences is 
the presence of the vacuo in the plant cell and the absence of the vacuo in the animal cell. So let me write C here. C vacuo. That's one difference. Another difference can be the presence of the cell wall in the, in the plant cell and the absence of the cell wall in the in the animal cell. So we've got cell wall. Another difference that you can identify just by looking at the diagrams is that uh, the plant cell has a defined shape while the animal cell has no defined shape. So we can also talk of the shape. The shape is different between the animal cell and the plant cell. We can go on to question D. State one other difference between the plant cell and the animal cell not in the diagram. So these are things that we are able to see from the diagram. But question D is asking us for a difference that we cannot see. What difference can we not see? Well, we know that plant cells contain what is known as chloroplast. So chloroplast in plant cell. And remember what the function of chloroplast is? So chloroplast in plant cell. While well, the chloroplast is not present in the animal cell but we are not able to identify the chloroplast from the diagrams that we have been given. So these are just a few questions and I just wanted you to have an idea of what type of questions you should expect on cells in your grade nine final examination paper. And so thank you very much for watching and please do tell your friends about Iskulu and um, see you in the next videos that we will cover together. Okay, so this is a wrap on uh, cells, both plant cells and animal cells. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.